Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Tuesday, July 11th, the Lord's blessings upon you and your family. Amen, amen. So let's get right into it today. Our Bible reading is Acts chapter 17, and I love what it says about uh, verse 10. Oh, excuse me. Then the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea, where they arrived and went into the synagogue of the Jews. They were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word of God with all readiness and searched the scripture daily to find out whether these things were so. Therefore, many of them believed and also not a few of the Greek prominent women as well as men. So it shows us that if people will hunger and thirst, they're going to get it. What's the area that you need? Do you need healing? Get your face, your nose into the Bible on healing. You need relationship help, uh, free of depression, things like that. Get in the word of God. Let the word of God become a seed in you and bring forth a great harvest. Amen. Today, our nation that we're praying for is Montenegro, Montenegro. Uh, 600,000 people, but only 0.2% of evangelical Christians, number 82 on the map. It says, pray <coughs> that people will be hunger, <coughs> excuse me, hunger and spiritual, hunger for spiritual truth and receptive to the hope that's found in Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then we're praying for Arizona today, 7.2 million people, 26% evangelical Christian. And then we're praying for Christian laborers today. All right, lot to cover. Let's pray. Father, again, we give you the praise and all the glory that's due your name. You are exalted. You are holy. You are worthy. And we do praise you, Lord. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for this Tuesday. Thank you that this will be the only time that we will live July 11, 2023 in all of our lives, Lord. Thank you that we have the privilege of praying one for another. You said one would put a thousand of flight and two ten thousand. You said if two of us agree on earth as touching anything they ask, it will be done for them and my Father, which is in heaven. Father, we lift up the nation of Montenegro before you, and we pray for people there of such a small amount of Christians, Lord, in this small nation. We pray for the scales to come off of people's eyes and the hearts to be open. I pray for visions of, uh, of angels to say, go here, go there, do this. Oh, man, oh, man, Lord, you are moving supernaturally. I thank you for moving today. In, the nation, in this nation, Lord. Father, we also lift up before you Israel today, Lord. As they say, it's not if there's going to be a major war. It's more when it's going to be. So we pray for them. We pray for your strength for them, wisdom. I see some of the videos of Prime Minister Netanyahu coming out of these meetings. And it, it looks pretty serious. Strengthen them. Help them guide them. This is so different nowadays with all these different um, missiles that they have, precision missiles, and on and on. Help them, Lord. Give them the wisdom that they need and the protection. Thank you that your angels watch over them also. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the nations of the world, Father, and we pray, Almighty God, for people that come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We pray for sheep nations. I don't know which ones are, but there's probably some out there. And we pray for goat nations, Lord. We pray for those that are in authority, that they would get the scales off their eyes and that they would see to whom much is given, much is required. So we pray for our president. We pray for those that they would make that decision, Lord. We lift up the nation, the state of Arizona before you, Father. And we pray, Father, for, for Arizona today. Many Christians there, Lord, strengthen them and use them, I pray. We lift up before you Christian laborers, Father, and we pray for them that are out there. We call them missionaries nowadays, but your word calls them apostles, prophets, evangelists, 
pastors and teachers, deacons and elders, lay people, people that are out there just doing the work of the ministry. Use them, guide them, protect them, Lord. Thank you for supplying all of their needs according to their, your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray for my brothers and sisters today for strength upon them, well-being upon them and their families. We pray for those that are suffering right now, Lord, for healing, pain to cease, mental torment to go, Lord. I thank you that you are the God that's more than enough. You are the God that protects us in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, we lift up the prayer requests that have come in this week, and we lift up the needs of fellow brothers and sisters, and we pray, Father, for those that need comfort, those that need strength, those that are praying for family members, those family members that are getting into a different lifestyle, those that are not living for Christ, but yet all their lives they did live for Christ. We pray for them, Lord. We lift up these prayer cards before you. And I pray for ourselves now, Lord, that we would be like the Bereans, Lord, that we would study your word, that you said study to show ourselves approved unto God, workmen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, that the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, the distractions of the age would not pull us down, Lord, but that we would hunger and thirst for you. You said, Father, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. So I thank you for these other things being added on. Again, I pray for my brothers and sisters. Hey, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom, shalom. Father, I thank you and love you and we honor you. Now as we wrap up, we give you the praise and the honor that's due your name. You alone are glorious from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised, is to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Dear Abba, to you be all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, again, thank you for joining with us. Thank you for sharing this, letting other people know that there's a prayer time they can connect with. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. I would prefer to see you up there tomorrow, but if I don't see you up there, we'll see you down here. God bless.